the cold air in the morning. <sighs> because they found an explosive. So, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> we won't be going won't there be seen inside the castle. Give us more subscribers, give us more subscribers, give us more subscribers, <laughs> give us more subscribers. We have seen a little bit of the city centre so far. It's such a beautiful old town and what makes it even better, it's mid-November, the snow has started, so we're heading into the town and guess what? We can see all the Christmas decorations, Feel super Christmassy and excited, and even Dan, you're gonna get a little bit excited, aren't you? So that was the Gates of Dawn behind us, which is the main entrance into the old town. And um, basically, it's pretty cool because you'll see the kind of a lot of the older generation every time they walk through the gates, they'll kind of pay their respects by doing the cross symbol and paying their respects that way. Um, so, yeah, it's quite interesting to watch. We are climbing Gedaminas Castle, our hill. Yep. It's been really steep, steep so far. I'm so glad we chose to save the one euro each on the funicular. Yeah. And now we're climbing. <laughs> but suppose at the top, you get the best view of Vilnius. We've arrived at the top after our, it only took about what, five minutes to climb. Yeah. It's not, it's not bad. It's like a steep, short walk. Yeah. Um, but if you don't like walking, there is a funicular if you want to take that up. I think it's like a euro each way. Yeah. This hill is called Gedaminas, I believe it's pronounced. We'll put the little name up. Um, but yeah, it offers really good Rob, views. Really nice views of the city. You can see it's quite cool because you've got the river just in front of us at this side. You've got the more modern side of the city, so like the big glass buildings. Totally different architecture to the opposite side, which is like the old town, the medieval side. All the red roofs of old style buildings with all the orthodox churches. style churches and yeah. things, yeah. So it is a really cool viewpoint. And then you've got one random building, which is the Soviet style yeah. Palace of Culture and Sports, which uh, kind of reminds me of the one in Tallinn, banned in yeah, uh, Soviet covered in, style. Um, like, Graffiti, it's boarded up. It costs us absolutely nothing to get up here. It's an awesome thing to do in Vilnius. And the views are epic, so definitely worth adding it to the list. So this tile here is in Cathedral Square and it's a very important symbol. This was the starting point of the Baltic Way which was when two million people joined hands between Vilnius all the way to Tallinn through Riga to basically show their solidarity together against the Soviet Union. So yeah, all the way from here, Vilnius to Tallinn, two million people held hands and created a human chain. It went on for, for ages, obviously, between here and Tallinn. And supposedly you're meant to spin three times on the uh, tile and it gives you good luck so here i go give us more subscribers give us more subscribers give us more subscribers <laughs> give us more subscribers so that is my bit of good luck Just ordered a popular snack here, um, that you have along with beer. It's fried bread with like garlic and cheese. Yeah. Might get it today. It's got like cumin on it. So it's like ultra fried sticks of garlic bread, which are super garlicky. 
and then cheese dip. And I guess cumin on top. Yeah, this is the kind of bar snack that you want when you've got a beer. Spicata. Spicata. Just finished our beer and the beer snacks as well, the fried bread. So yummy. <laughs> so good. Um, but that brings the end of our day here exploring Vilnius and the old yep. town. But tomorrow we've got a day trip which is quite exciting, but an hour away from Lithuania. Mm -hmm. So join us for that as we explore. Um, a big castle. A big <laughs> castle. So yeah. Good morning guys, this morning we have just arrived at the train station here in Vilnius and we're about to jump on a train and head a little bit out the city so we're finally leaving the city to head out to some nature we're visiting Trakai Castle and this castle is actually built on a lake which is one of the only castles in Eastern Europe that's built on a lake so it's meant to be really beautiful we should be expecting some pretty, pretty nice views here so we will take you with us. First time on a Lithuanian train. We've got our seats, we've sat upstairs. Cute, love the little window design. And also, look. It looks like a little carpet design on the roof. I, I'm not gonna lie, when it comes to like train travel, <laughs> we're both nerds. This train, so the train cost us three euros each, one way. It's a half hour journey, it is nine, our train departs at 9.16. Um, so yeah, we've now got our train coffees and we are ready to go and see a castle. We've just started the walk from the village centre towards the castle. It's all quite nicely mapped out, but yeah. it says on the map it's about a two kilometre walk um, from the train station to the castle itself. So we we're both just saying it's so nice to have a break from the city. It is. It's nice to be out of the centre um, and we've, in the countryside a bit. Yeah. Or a little town, I guess. We've kind of just hit since like Sari Selka up in Finland and the Arctic Circle, it's been city after city after city. Yeah. So it's nice to get out in the countryside again. It's a beautiful lake we're beside. I read online it's one of the deepest lakes in Lithuania. Yeah, we're gonna do this walk and then we're gonna see this castle. So the castle's famous for the only castle, I think, in Eastern Europe to be built on a lake. So it does look Going by the pictures online, it does look pretty awesome. It does look cool. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's a coffee machine. I saw gingerbread and I thought it was like a gingerbread vending machine. <laughs> We have made it to Trakai Castle. You can see it just in the background there across the lake. Um, we've seen quite a few castles on this trip, but this certainly is pretty amazing um, with the backdrop of the lake. And what's even better is we've basically got the place to ourselves. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the little bridge that takes you to the castle and explore but I think you'll agree that the, the main attraction to the castle is the outside for sure. Let's go cross the bridge and take a closer look. Well, that didn't go to plan. Yeah, our day trips are in a bit of a failed trip. Um, we had a lovely walk around the lake, but just before we tried to get into the see the castle, 
there's like we've seen firemen here since we arrived yeah yeah but they've got like barrier up tape up one guy came out said it's going to be shut for the rest of the day because they found an explosive so yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> we won't be going won't in there be seen inside the castle typical uh luck we had yeah. bad luck in poznan with the goats oh yeah and now we've had now bad again. luck here in trakai castle so Yep, oh, well. we'll probably venture <laughs> through the town yeah, now. Yeah, we'll have a little wonder. See what uh, the village and town has to offer. If you come to see the castle, there's a place here called Home Lunch Cafe. Yeah, Home Lunch Cafe is right here. And we just had their home style or the home tea. Really Literally, good. it's Christmas in a mug. I've never tasted anything like it in my life. And it's winter warmer because it yeah, is cold it's today. Freezing. Absolutely so we went freezing. in there, the fire was on. It was a really nice break. Yeah. So. so definitely go there if you're coming to visit the castle and hopefully you get to see the castle unlike us. Yeah. 